Okay, I think we're set. Everybody, is everybody here all right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, beautiful. So, uh, Ed, I just see you from, I just see the piano. Can you uh, uh, introduce yourself a little bit? Can you see me now? Yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Ed. I was on last week, but I didn't have, uh, my technology was uh, right. defective, so I fixed that. Right. And uh, I'm kind of uh, uh, struggling through the early stages of learning to play. I can dig um, it. And I think I mentioned last week, I have a local teacher here in Denver who's a really skilled guy from Berkeley and University of Indiana. But I thought I'd join these conferences because uh, you guys are all uh, highly skilled and I'll, I'm sure I'll learn a lot. Beautiful. Uh, do you, would you like to uh, just play a little something for me? Uh, whatever you're working on? Yeah, so let me play a little bit of Stella. Stella's fine. Sounded real good, man. Uh, are you um, comfortable doing any improvising with that? Uh, well, that's uh, one of the reasons I wanted to engage here. I, I'm working with my teacher on bebop scales, uh -huh. uh, on two five ones, and Stella is uh, has a lot of that going on. Can you move a little closer to the microphone, maybe? Uh, I I can't. If I do, I'll move it. Yeah, that's good. I'll move the camera. That's good. So, all right, so let me, let me, I don't want to dominate this, but let me just tell no, you. No, 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 dominate away. Okay, so um, if I was going to do something improvisational, I would do. Yeah, I would go right to uh, the chromatic part of a dominant bebop scale. Got it. All right. I, I understand where you're at. Let, uh, uh, I really enjoyed what you played. Your voicings were really good. Uh, and you're getting a good start on jazz piano, so that's a great thing. Uh, let me make a big difference in it right away, okay? All right. Uh, the... Foundation of all jazz, unless you're playing something that's free form without a beat, the foundation of all jazz is what we call the pulse, the underlying pulse. Okay? So whenever you're playing almost all tunes, uh, blues, jamming on anything, you always want to be feeling underneath the music it's like the iceberg you have a part of the iceberg on top and then you have a big part of the iceberg on the bottom so the the part of the iceberg on the bottom is what we call the pulse okay the pulse is like the metronomic beat okay now the best way to feel the, what, what you want to do with what you're doing because you have a lot of good things going what we want to add to what you're doing is we want to add the feeling of the pulse to start with. Okay. It, it's like, um, if somebody goes to an acupuncturist or an oriental doctor, what they do is they check the pulse first. Okay. So it's the strength of the pulse that tells you the health of the person. And in music, it's the same way. It's the strength of the pulse that defines the, the strength of the music. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, I'll tell you what, do you have a metronome around? I do. I got to dig for it. Uh, oh, All I right. got it. Take a moment. All right, good. 
All right, let's put a metronome on, uh, let's say, 80 for right now. Okay. I don't know. Can you hear that? Yes, I can. Yes. Maybe if you could just put, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. All right. Now, now, one, I want you to, there's two types of pulses. There's an internal pulse and an external pulse. Okay. The internal pulse is what you feel in your body when you're playing. It's, it's, uh, it's the internal beat, what we call the internal pulse. We, we want to keep the metronome on. Oh, okay. Yeah. The external pulse is the metronome, okay? So, so what we do is we're going to now learn how to incorporate the pulse feeling into your playing, which is going to make a huge difference and also is going to make a huge difference when it comes to improvisation. Because without the pulse feeling behind your improvisation, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna flow. You know what I mean? All right. It'll be more of a struggle than it needs to be. A lot of, a lot of the, uh, methodology of how you improvise has to do with the feeling of the pulse and what the feeling of the pulse directs you to do. So without that, it's missing a really important ingredient. So what we do is when we, when we try to incorporate the pulse, we start with the external pulse. And the external pulse is the metronome. So you want to listen to the metronome, and then you can, uh, you want to do a little Stevie Wonder thing. So you want to feel like somebody's tapping you on the shoulder with the same beat, okay? So the pulse is a kind of a body thing, a physical thing. You, you get what I mean? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you can like, you can do a Stevie Wonder thing with your head or you can. Oh, my whole body's moving, Dave. My yeah, whole body's well, If your whole body does it, it could be a problem. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, you know, there are ways you can maybe get 73 to 70, 80 percent of your entire body doing this. Uh, now. Can you feel the pulse? Yeah, yeah, okay. You can feel it? Okay, you can hear it. You can hear the external pulse. Can you feel the internal pulse? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to, you're going to eventually teach me if, if I'm, when I get it, I'll tell you. You know what well, I mean? Well, you're going to feel I, it. Like, feel, you have to imagine somebody hitting you like this on the shoulder. So you feel it, you can definitely move like my grandfather used to move in tempo, like this, yeah. back and forth, you know, by, yeah. You know. Oh yeah, mine too, mine too. Yes, sir, yeah, oh, okay. So let's use the grandfathers uh, in shul here as the uh, visual. So you wanna see grandpa go with his talus and he's going back and forth like this, right? right. He's feeling the pulse, okay? Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd just like you to play the chord changes of Stella, and I'd like you to picture Grandpa davening with the pulse. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Dabble. Three, four. Two, three, four. Good, good. Now you got it. Now you got it. Beautiful. Excellent. Chord voicing. Just leave the left hand. You want to get used to this. So this, the, the pulse is the invisible part of music that you feel when you're playing. But you always want to play it. Unless there's some reason why if, if you're playing rubato or out of time. But almost all the time you want to feel that pulse. And that's a big part of the experience of playing. Yeah. Good, beautiful. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. How does that feel? Yeah, well, you can see I can do it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, do, do, you, do you see how it adds another dimension to the experience of playing? Well, yeah, and I have to tell you, this is what my, my instructor here in Denver has been 
banging on me about. So hearing it from you that now I got two guys. Okay. I got to, I got to master this. <clears throat> well, so what's a good, what's a good way to internalize this? Okay. Well, the, 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 a, a few different ways. First way is to picture in your mind, your grandfather in temple going like this. Yep. I got can you that. See him? Yep. Okay. I can see mine. Uh, and you just feel it. You're, 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 you're with your grandfather in temple and he's feeling the pulse and you're feeling it also. How about this also is that I should maybe play songs like this, not, no, not worrying about the melody, just working on the chord changes. Yeah, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to do, it, it is a good idea when you're trying to incorporate the pulse to work one hand at a time. Okay. Okay. Good. And it's okay because you have the nice voicings there, so, you, so we can use that. Um, now watch. Another way again. Just, just use, use move, move the body or tap the foot. Yeah, that's what I've been doing is tapping my yeah, foot. Tapping your foot is cool. And again, it's, it's a feel. So you imagine somebody's just tapping the shoulder and then, and then you're, you're feeling that. Now you want to play <coughs> chord sequence with the feeling of the pulse. Okay, that's a feeling that you have when you play that rhythmic pulse. All the you know, right? Right. Okay. Now let's try this. I'm I'm just gonna take you out into the pool a little bit. So okay. The, the important thing is that you continue to feel the pulse feeling, which is which is this steady rhythmic movement beneath the, the notes you're playing. It's 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 a it's it's a um, part of the experience of playing that's not written, it's not written on the page. It's something that you do as you play the notes on the page. Yeah, you got it, I can see your finger there. See, that's it, that's the pulse. Okay. Now, can you play the left hand voicings alone just with the pulse? So feel the pulse and play the voicings. a little bit closer to each other so you don't have to jump. But you can do that another time. See how you're jumping there? It's going to be a little easier and a little smoother to keep all the voices closer together. But that's for another time. Good. Uh, you got it. Yes, Grandpa. Grandpa's going back and forth. Bye 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 composer no doubt ba da ba di three four one two three bye bye Bye, 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 bye. Good, man. That sounds great. Okay, that is a nice note in that voice. Okay, hold it right there. Now, you, you were feeling that, right? Yeah. Right? And it's not hard. I mean, it's just as simple as moving. But, but the movement that you were adding to the playing just now that pulse feeling was not there before, right? Right, and so what you're talking about, I have never concentrated on. Right, right, this is, this is, this is an element. So when we talk about jazz and improvisation, we're talking about a recipe. It's like a gourmet meal, and there's a recipe, and all the ingredients of the recipe have to be there in order for the thing to work. Just like if you were in, for example, if like you were in chemistry class or something, and you were trying to get a beaker to explode, you have to get all of the right ingredients in the beaker. Right. 
and then it would explode. But if pieces of the, 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 uh, the chemistry experiment are not there, if there are elements missing, like the enzyme or whatever, then it won't explode. So the pulse is a really important element that we always want to incorporate when you play. And, and you know, once you get the idea of it, then, you, then you'll feel it very naturally. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, uh, it's just another, you know, it's just another thing to incorporate, to include in your playing. Now, let's try this. Let's try the melody now with the feeling of the pulse. Uh, yeah, exactly what you're doing. You just tap on your, you just tap your foot and you're just including in your awareness the feeling of the pulse. And now we'll just play the melody with that feeling. Two, three, four, one. Perfect. Perfect. Take your time. It's very relaxed. No rush. Yeah, it's it's not a matter of rushing. It's just very relaxed. Along with the pulse. Yeah, the pulse. You're going for a ride in the pulse machine. Uh, beautiful. Take your time. Nice. Keep tapping the foot. Perfect, perfect. You got it. You're swinging, man. You're swinging. Four, one, two, three. Excellent. Three. Keep feeling it. It's nice and natural. It's not rushed. My heart and I agree. <laughs> Something like that. Do what I'm saying. Yeah, how'd that feel there, buddy? It's good. And so I can see the challenge, of course, is to make the left hand so rock steady that uh, I eventually will be able to do a little bit of invention in my right hand. Well, let, let's take it one step, one step at a time. So now let's try playing the two hands of the melody with the pulse. Okay, so just just feel it. So it's like your music and your experience of playing is grounded in the pulse. Okay, it's grounded in the pulse. Okay, here we go. Okay, take your time. One, two, three, four. One. Three, good, excellent. Yeah, man. Beautiful. It's like you're just gliding along on a magic carpet when you're in the pulse. The pulse carries the music. Don't worry about little slips here and there. La, 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 la. Okay, good. Da, two. Keep feeling the pulse. La, 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 la. One, two, three, four. Excellent, excellent. Keep feeling it. Never let down on false feeling. It's continuous. One. Uh, uh, beautiful. La, 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 la. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. How did that feel, man? Well, uh, yeah, you could see I, st I, I got a little confused and start playing the wrong melody, but. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a little work to be disciplined about this. Well, there's a couple of things that'll help. That was that sounded really good. That was much much better. It was much more musical. Yep. You know what I mean? Okay, good. And 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 it's a really important ingredient to have in your playing at all times. Now, a couple of things that will help you to make the pulse. Um, if there's any hesitation with the chords in the left hand, then 
there's a chance you might lose the pulse. Right. So you you had some very good voicings. But you, you, you had a fair amount of jumps in the thumb of those voicings. If you can redesign some of the voicings so that it's close, yeah, they're a little closer. Then that will uh, that will help you to play the chords, you know, and, okay. and will help you to make the pulse. But anyway, uh, I just I just uh, I just want to go one. So so a really good challenge for you, and I think something that you really enjoy is if you just take tunes like we just did and practice. Feel first you put the metronome on that gives you the external pulse. Then you put, then you feel the internal pulse from the metronome. And then before you play, you feel the pulse. Bum, 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 bum. And then when you play, you just sustain the awareness of that pulse while you're playing. And you can do this with all kinds of tunes. And this is really going to make a big difference in, in how you play music altogether. Okay. I, I'm just going to take it one more step a little bit and just show you how that applies to improvisation okay so whenever so i'm going to uh i'm going to take a different tune uh I'm take a tune that's a little bit easier in terms of chord changes uh i'll do uh green dolphin street okay now i just want to show you where the uh how the pulse integrates so what you said about the chord scale all that kind of stuff all of that's really really good but remember to integrate the pulse into that too when you improvise. Okay. All right. All right. So gonna now I'm going gonna... to. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn off my metronome while you play. Okay. Yeah. You can turn the metronome. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yep. I'm just going to get ditch these headphones for a second. All right. So what I'm going to show you, Ed, is just we're going to put a slow metronome on about eighty. And I'm going to just show you a little improvising on Green Dolphin Street, and I'll show you how the pulse works out. So first, I feel the pulse. It's here. Now, the basic groove of improv is the eighth note flow. And that's going to be like this. Ba, do, zi, go, zi, go, zi, go, za, ba. So when I'm improvising, whatever technical things I'm using, I want to... Keep the feeling of the pulse. Ba, ba, de, go, de. So here's like a little improvising on Green Dolphin. See, I'm feeling the pulse for one, and I'm superimposing an eighth swing eighth note line on top of it. Keep feeling the pulse, and most of what I do at the beginning of improvising will be this kind of nice flowing eighth note pulse, eighth note swing. This is what keeps it all together when you start improvising. So you can do all the things you're doing with your teacher about the chord scales and the bebop scales and all that stuff. But when you try improvising, just remember to integrate it with this eighth note feeling and the pulse, and then it will work. Four, one, two, three, four. I'm feeling it. One, two, three, four. Example of an integrated pulse into okay. the improv. Yep. Okay. Do you, you hear that? Yep. So I got something to work on this week. Uh -huh. <laughs>